So in the last episode, we were able to create an endpoint to handle the delete requests. And in this episode, I want us to create another endpoint to handle the put requests. So put is used to edit a document and uh, there are two requests which you can perform to edit a document. The first one is put and the other one is patch. So in this video, we will start by handling put requests and then in the next video, we will handle patch requests. So at the top here, I'll create a new endpoint using router.put and the first parameter is the path. And the path here should have an ID of the document that we want to edit just like we did with our delete here, okay? So right here, I'll include a path and also pass an ID to this path. And then the second parameter here is an async function. So I'll say async and it is an arrow function which accept request and response. And then in here, we'll be able to do something. Okay. So let me create good spacing there. And we continue down here. Now with put requests, we usually send a new version of an existing document. Okay. It's like we are replacing the existing document with a new one. Okay. And to do that, we usually send a new version of the request body. So at the top here, since we will be getting the data from the client, we will validate the data using Joy, just like we did with our post request. So I won't repeat the whole of this process. I'll just copy all this code from where we are creating a schema, getting an error from schema dot validate, and then checking if the error exists or not. If it exists, we send the error message to the client. So I'll copy this code and then uh, come at the bottom here where we have our put here and paste this code. So the next step after we check this, we need to check whether the document with this particular ID exists or not. So just right here, we will use our model, which is to do, and then call this method dot find by ID. And then in here, we will pass the ID that we are getting from our path here, okay? And earlier, we used request.params.id to read IDs that are included in the URL. So right here, we'll just say request.params.id. And this will check whether a document exists in our database or not. And right here, we will await this process because it will return a promise. So await and we store it on a constant. So right here, I'll say const to do will be equal to await to do dot find by ID. And then we pass the ID in here. And we are reading this ID from our path. So now we can perform an if statement and we'll say if we will use an exclamation mark here, meaning not, okay? If not to do, so to do does not exist, we will send a 404 error, meaning that the to do uh, was not found, okay? Or the source was not found. So right here, we'll terminate uh, the rest of the process by calling return and we say res dot status 404. Now this means that uh, this resource was not found and then we send a message to the client just like this dot send and what we will say here is to do not found and I can pass some dots there and that's it. So if this resource does not exist, we will tell the client that it does not exist. Okay, but if it exists, so this won't be called and we'll proceed to updating our to do. Now, right here, uh, we'll say to do dot find by ID. 
and update that way and we call this function the first parameter is the id of the to do that we want to update which is a variable in request dot params dot id and then the second parameter is the body of the request so it contains the name the other the uid and is complete and that is what we will pass at the second parameter here so i'll just come to our post right here and reuse this code where we were destructuring the name the other is complete date and uid from request.body and i'll come right here just before we perform this update i'll paste that code right here okay and we'll pass the name the other is complete and date in this object now this will return a promise so we can await it and store it on a constant so i'll say updated uh, to do will be equal to await so i need to call const here const updated to do will be equal to await to do dot find by id and update and then i call this if i save this file it will be uh, out of formatted by prettier i am using prettier as an extension here okay so this is what we have now this updated to do which is returned right here will be our old version of the to do but what we want to get is the new version of of our to do okay and to get the new version we need to also include uh, another object here and this object contains the property called new and the value here is true so we'll get the new document which have already been updated uh, by this particular method now the next step that we need to perform is to send our updated to do to the client so just right here uh, we will say res dot send and pass our updated to do here updated to do so i'll save this file to auto format and then we need to catch the errors so i'll place this code where we are updating the to do and sending it to the client in a try and catch block so right here i'll say try and pass this code in here and then the next code will be catch and since we have already performed uh, such a thing i'll just copy this copy and then down here uh, just after try i'll paste it here okay if i save and then scroll at the top uh, this is what we have try we place our updated to do in a constant and then we use this method to update the to do find by id and update the first parameter is the id of the document we want to update the second parameter is our request uh, dot body and then we set a flag here new to true so that we can get the updated to do back and send it to the client and then we catch the error rest dot status 500 meaning that this is a server error and then we send the error message to the client or also log it to the console so this is how we can perform a put request and as i said before a uh, put usually uh, replaces the existing document with a new version of the document now let's test this one on postman so i'll come to postman if i perform a get request so i will use one of this one here we send this request so you see we don't have any documents in our collection so let's perform a post request to add a new document so i'll perform a post request and send and now this is our new document now i need the id of this document for us to update it i'll copy and then we perform a put request we include this id at the end here and then in the body of the request we can update our to do 
So as I told you before, we need to send a new version of this to do at our body of the request. So right here, we can say our, our edited to do. And then uh, we can change the name here to Chow Charles. We can set is complete to false. And also we need to pass a date to this document. For the date, I will reuse this one. So I will reuse the date. And then uh, the ID, we don't need to uh, update that. Name, other is complete. And version, we don't need to touch that. So if we send this request, we should get our updated to do back. Okay, so send and there we go. So we have a date, which is this. We have an ID, we have a name, we have an author and is complete. So you can see all the properties that we updated have been edited, but we didn't include a UID and it have been set to null. So I'll show you how uh, we will send all our updates from the from the front end because on the front end we'll only have one input field for the name but we won't have other input fields for the other for is complete for date for now don't worry about how we will do it uh, we will handle that when we get to react and that's it that is how we handle output requests